Hello everyone, welcome back to FBM Main Outdoor Journal. Today old Jacko and I are out checking out our local deer yard. We're gonna do some walking around in there, checking out the trails, see how the deer are making it along. Maybe we'll get lucky enough to pick up a horn. What do you think? Yep. Brought a little snack, we'll probably have a little smudge. Look things over in here and uh, we'll show you what we find. Stay tuned. Find anything good over there? Nope. Nothing yet. No, I decided to come back here because we're going over there and you can't keep up with me. Oh, I can't keep up with you? <laughs> nope. Well, you gotta keep looking, not just running. Well, quite a few deer tracks in here. Not much uh, snow. And I haven't seen any coyote tracks. That's a good sign, huh? Yeah. Well, let's keep easing along. See the light down there. They were running right along the edge of a big bog. Mm -hmm. We've been coming in on this main main trail. We just had another pretty decent spur trail come in on this one. So now we're on a uh, real travel trail. I'm gonna keep moving along here easy and uh, see how things are going. Well, we're still easing along this uh, <clears throat> same trail we've been on. Deer aren't really hanging out in this uh, area. This trail's just going somewhere that they want to be. Every now and then you'll see where they go off to the side a little bit, but they're not really uh, living in this piece. So we're going to stay on this main trail. If at the end of February you can't uh, beat these conditions, even right out of the trail, I, uh, it's hard to rock. It's probably, uh, I don't know, eight or ten inches of hard pack underneath my feet and then this last little two or three inches of powder we got from the last storm so this is excellent excellent for the deer here at the end of february so uh, gonna be interesting to see gonna keep following this trail along see if we can find a place where they're really milling around and holding up there's uh another big uh dark green growth on the other side of the main road this trail comes from I know they stay down in there a lot. We explored that a lot last winter, but we'd never explored this side of the road, so we're gonna keep following this main trail, see where it ends up, and uh, see if there's another pocket where they like to hang out and spend some time, not just uh, travel back and forth. So, still easing up along the edge of that big bog. Uh, pretty soon will be the end of it. It'll be interesting to see if this trail swings around it or uh, continues on straight. We'll keep you posted as we go.
can get across this one. Oh, nice one. Hmm. He's still not across. He made it. saw two deer take off. I, uh, we had kind of that uh, main trail that we was on had kind of petered right out. I guess we was kind of uh, going down down it backwards. I don't think it was really going anywhere. I think just you get a couple little trails in, a couple little trails keep adding to that headed to the uh, headed back into town to the yeah yeah. So we turned around, made a big loop. We'd found. I see the tracks were looking pretty fresh. And they'd really milled around these couple old spruce eating that old man's beard. We come around the corner and we see the tails going the way they went. I couldn't get the camera on quick enough. And just running the GoPro today, that's not very good at distance. So I probably couldn't have got a shot of them in four years anyways. But yeah, I couldn't uh, really tell what they was. Might have been a doe and a lamb. One was bigger, one was smaller. Look, another tree just saying that. They uh, took off out of here and we're going to... Find a good spot to build a smudgy, I think, and have a little snack. Starting to find a little more activity where they've spent some time here now. Here's a uh, couple beds. Oh, yeah, that's a small little bed there. Hold your hand down next to it so people see how big it is. Yeah, not too big. Another bed over here. I'll lay down beside that one, Joe, how big it is. Oh, just hold your hand in it. You don't have to get all the snow. Yep, yeah, couple beds there. Been milling around here quite a bit, spending some time. Still haven't seen the coyote track yet, and uh, conditions are still good, so time for a snack. You're into the shavings. Try up in there. I'll test her out. Yeah, take a big bite of uh, the old mac and cheese look. That was your grab. Old Gump's favorite. This ain't actually ain't not. Ain't bad. Ain't bad, is it? Alright, I'll toast mine up. Battery's getting a little low. Hopefully we'll be able to show you a little more. Hang in there. Can't get much snow, can you, Joe? Oh, we should get out of here before getting sticky for business. 
Well, we found somebody's old bear bait barrel. It looks like she's been used in a long time. A little wired cover on her for a hinge. Yeah. Full leaves and stick. Must have been a bear bait. Well, my battery just went bred up dead on the old GoPro. I was just up there by that old bear bait, I was telling you. We came down and we did finally hit one coyote track. It's the only one we've hit in this whole area. I was going to say, I don't know if I'd probably get cut off less than a mile across country. There's a big giant flowage. My cousin's got a coyote bait set up on it. He's already killed five or six over there, so hopefully this one here works his way that way. And uh, has a little visit with the old 22-250. Uh, we're almost back out to the main road. We had a nice little loop. I think last time I looked at the Onyx, we was at about a mile and a half, and that was quite a ways back, so we're probably getting close Two and a quarter now. It'll be two and a half by the time we get back out. Had a good time? Uh-huh. Good sign is no deer kills in here, no hair. We didn't find any antlers, but there's still enough snow left, so the early drops, or even the regular drops, probably is still under the snow. Uh, we didn't really, really expect to see too awful much, but as far as antlers went, we just wanted to come check on the status of the deer. Snow conditions are excellent for them, so it should be a great, great time for them. Should be a great deer season next year.